January 7th, Intimate with Jesus. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? John 14, 9. These words were not spoken as a rebuke, nor even with surprise. Jesus was encouraging Philip to draw closer. Yet the last person we get intimate with is Jesus. Before Pentecost, the disciples knew Jesus as the one who gave them power to conquer demons and to bring about a revival. See Luke 10, 18-20. It was a wonderful intimacy, but there was a much closer intimacy to come. I have called you friends. John fifteen fifteen. True friendship is rare on earth. It means identifying with someone in thought, heart, and spirit. The whole experience of life is designed to enable us to enter into this closest relationship with Jesus Christ. We receive his blessings and know his word, but do we really know him? Jesus said, It is to your advantage that I go away. John 16, 7. He left that relationship to lead them even closer. It is a joy to Jesus when a disciple takes time to walk more intimately with him. The bearing of fruit is always shown in scripture to be the visible result of an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. See John 15, 1-4. Once we get intimate with Jesus, we are never lonely and we never lack for understanding or compassion. We can continually pour out our hearts to him without being perceived as overly emotional or pitiful. The Christian who is truly intimate with Jesus will never draw attention to himself, but will only show the evidence of a life where Jesus is completely in control. This is the outcome of allowing Jesus to satisfy every area of life to its depth. The picture resulting from such a life is that of the strong, calm balance that our Lord gives to those who are intimate with him.